We collected every marker in Sea of Thieves and became our own wild event. Here's what happened. So, there are a few items in this game that will leave a mark on everyone's map and light your ship up like a Christmas tree. We wanted to collect every single one of them to see how long we could last. Now, we had originally attempted this on the smallest ship in the game, but drawing that amount of attention to us, wow. I'm back, zero. It's okay. Can you pick me up? Yeah, we were going to need a bigger ship. In today's Tales of Getting Booty. I'm Dad, I'm dead, zero. It's Jova. Subscribe. Now, with a better understanding of how to undertake this task, I pulled together my group of friends, Zero, Halo, and Little Fox, to push this idea to its limits. You see, the issue we had when sailing as a sloop was that by losing our hourglass fights before we had collected every marker, we would have to start from the beginning and collect all those markers again. On top of that, being third party attacked in our hourglass matches due to having all those markers, while being on the smallest ship in the game, put us at a massive disadvantage. So we came up with three solutions to solve these issues. Firstly, we'd be doing this challenge on a galleon. Being on the biggest ship in the game means that we would have a better chance of dealing with the third party attackers, as most ships in adventure mode are either sloops or brigantines. Secondly, we would only activate the hourglass once all the map markers had been collected, meaning that my goal of collecting all of them won't be short lived by losing our hourglass match midway. And finally, we'd be using the help of a certain tool tail once all the markers were collected to truly emulate that world event experience. So, first we would need the Reaper's Mark flag. You can get this by simply going into your flag zone raising it. A lot of new players seem to use this and not realize what it does. Look at this guy, he doesn't know what he's doing. Next, we would need the Guild Emissary flag. When this reaches grade five, you become visible on the map. After that, we would need the Reaper Chest and Bounty. These two items not only show up on the map with these icons, but they also have beacons that fly up into the sky. And speaking of beacons, we would also need the Chest of Siren Song and the Key of Siren Song. Now, one of the rarer markers is this. This icon is unique to community weekends only. It's called Pop-Up Plunder. Randomly throughout the weekend, a pop-up plunder will appear. And if you find it, it marks itself on the map for the world to see. Next, we have the visible keys. Both the Fort of Fortune and the Fort of the Dam keys are visible on the map for all to see, unlike the regular green skelly key. And finally, the hourglass marker. This marker is only visible to those who are in hourglass battle, and for bonus points it can technically be upgraded at a 4 win streak. So, collecting the majority of these map markers and beacons was a breeze on the galleon. We'd started with our Reaper's Mark flag raised of course, along with raising our Guild Emissary flag which we'd progressed to grade 5 while collecting the rest of the markers. We also started on a server with an active pop-up plunder and made our way to the yellow reaper bounty at a nearby shipwreck before proceeding to the Fort of Fortune to collect its key. While Zero and Little Fox stayed at the fort to clear it, Halo and I were working on digging up the chest and key for the Skull of Siren song. And with all of these pieces assembled, we were only four markers away from collecting every single map marker in the game. I love it! We look so stupid already. <laughs> So, we still needed our guild emissary flag to hit grade 5. We also needed the red reaper chest, which has the chance of spawning at the Fort of the Damned, and we needed the Fort of the Damned key itself. Needing the red reaper chest meant we would need to clear the fort twice, one for the chest and a second time for the key. Once we had all of these pieces assembled, we'd be able to vote on the hourglass and become our own silly little world event with every marker possible. Now, while my friends were clearing the Fort of the Damned, I was keeping a watch for any potential enemy players. I mean, we were quite literally lit up like a Christmas tree at this point, and even more so with our guild flag reaching grade 5. And as predicted, due to all of these map markers, along with an active fort, a sloop had come over to investigate. They came right. to say hello, there's one right here. So, I mean, kinda sus, but okay. Having taken them on their word, I went over to further negotiate, and if you if you're truly here to say what's good then drop anchor otherwise we're sinking you drop it okay you actually did okay hi what's up Hello. Wow, they seemed genuine, and all they wanted was some help with getting a chest of fortune. Which, considering we were only here for the reaper chest and fort key, we would actually have one spare. However, this was all a ploy on their end, but we'll get to that. For now, I'd anchored their ship within our broadside. This is not our broadside! <laughs> 
<laughs> so if they tried any funny business, we'd send them to Davy Jones. And we even kept our word and placed the chest of fortune on their ship while we worked on the second foot of the dam to get the key. And while I was admiring our masterpiece, I'm not sure what the, oh, I just got killed. Yeah, you did. Why'd you kill me? Yeah, so we weren't going to let them get away with that. What the hell? What did you think you were gonna do? However, having sunk them and killed one of the players, I couldn't help but notice that while that was a different player entirely, and the original crew that was on this ship were now in my Twitch chat at twitch.tv slash Sinclair, bragging about the fact that they had handed this ship off to some different players. Now my friends will destroy you. It was you, okay. No, I'm gonna be destroyed. Also don't stream tonight. And with that, our server was compromised. This boat was going to come back again and again. And the player that took this boat wasn't just a nobody. I mean, they were a nobody, but for very different reasons. This was a person I had banned in my Twitch chat for starting an argument, calling me bad at the game, complaining I was using curse balls, the list goes on. And clearly this person had something to prove. I mean, look at them. They're admitting it was them in my community tab. Now, we sunk them like really easily, but this was just the start of it. Because we were the most marked ship on the map while well, they knew where to find us. I mean, this is this is what we want, right? And this led to the most ridiculous situation I'd ever experienced. You see, we needed the Fort of the Damned Key to complete our markers, but no matter how often we sunk this crew, they would spawn really close to us due to the Skull of Siren Song's special stipulations for ships that have opted into the voyage. This meant that the Fort of the Damned Key was going to be really hard to obtain, because if we sink them, they'd be back in like three minutes. So how are we going to do it if they're just going to be annoying? Like, how are we going to get the key? We needed to take the Fort of the Damned by stealth. If we could clear it to the boss, sink them, and then finish the boss, we should be able to get the key before they return. But because I had said this on stream, all of a sudden they were very interested in camping the island. I died. Oh. And claiming the fort back from them really wouldn't achieve much for us because they'd be back within seconds. We were basically forced to play their game and sink them and kill them over and over again. They sank. Are you sunk again? Because no matter how good they were, they were just a sloop. They could hardly touch us. All they had going for them was being annoying. Whereas we... Just full pop now. Okay. Yeah. Like they demastered us, oh no. They buff sniper health. One dead. You bagged one. Just triple board, triple board. Yep. Uh, you sure? Yep. Uh, no, you, no, uh, no. Me little fuck you. I am off the ship. Okay, I'm off the ship too right now. Be annoying, Zero. They're gonna sink her. Nice. Got to a shock. I'm whipping. Yeah, I'm whipping too. Even after sinking them, they would go back to guarding the fort instantly. They knew that I wanted the key for my content and their win con was to stop that from happening. But through all this, we had come up with a plan. We just needed them to take the bear. So, we had stopped taking interest in getting the fort key. We sat at an outpost and complained that they were ruining the stream and that taking the key would be the worst thing possible to happen because we'd have to chase them. And wow. Uh, they are not opening it, they are taking it on their ship. No! Oh, no. oh they don't. Oh, come on. Oh, no. That's literally the worst thing they could do. Oh, they were, they were stream sniping us. Oh, come on. Oh, now we have to chase them with the key? 
<laughs> and we've been working so hard to get that key. Now, they had done exactly what I wanted them to do. Surprise, surprise. I mean, we had sunk them so many times, this was perfect. Because here's the thing, if they had used the key, then we'd have to set up another fort once more and deal with them stopping us, which they were very successful at doing. So as long as they kept the key on their ship, well, we just had to sink them, right? Uh, we're getting we're in the nose right now. Yeah. But that's okay for us, this is where we pelt. Just pelt her. Yeah, just pelt. Full pelt, full pelt. Doesn't matter if we get demasted. Oh, they're gonna... One jumped off. Ah, the up. up. I'm, I'm on them. They're almost sunk. Back to they sunk. I think. Nice. Sunk. Uh, yeah, offer. They're dry. Yeah. Where are they, Zero? Where are they? One's in the water. Okay, I'm going under. Get embarrassed. Get get embarrassed. You died to an Ashen Wind Skull. Gold Skelly dies to Ashen Wind Skull. <laughs> got the key. Let's go. Nice. Davy Jones. Oh, that's got to be embarrassing. And with that, every marker bar one had been obtained. We had won. I mean, this was the goal of my content, right? To get every marker for this video. Now, all we had to do was raise our hourglass and await our enemies at Davy Jones. With our hourglass raised, we had obtained every single marker in Sea of Thieves. There was technically bonus points if we could reach a four streak and become faction champions, as it would replace the hourglass map marker with a bigger, scarier one. But for now, we just had to focus on being a world event. Now, we had summoned Davy Jones to help assist us in the coming fights ahead. We had actually tested the Davy Jones tool tail out in some hourglass matches not too long ago, and the results were incredible. So have a look at that if you're interested in learning some more about how to use this tool tail to your advantage. With this tool tail, we'd be able to hopefully even out the playing field. But before we could even get to the part that allows us to summon Davy Jones's ship, the sloop from earlier was back again. Oh, and the mech's here too? Good. Holy sh! Oh, oh my god. god. But due to the chaotic nature of this event and a megalodon, oh god, I got knocked off. Oh. We weren't able to sink them just yet. However, it wouldn't take long for them to sail into another parallel broadside and get demastered from sheer cannonballs. I'm going over. Okay, so I'd overshot the board here. Classic Toxie Sinclair, right? But as I called out to them and called them out. Hey, stream snipers, how you doing? What are you on the bounce, bot? Yeah, that was exactly the rude behavior I was talking about. This person sucked, okay? It's that simple. And when I went over again to try and secure the sink, well... Remember when you guys died to an Ashen Wind Skull, but I'm the bot? You are a bot, bro. You can kill one week to get 10 levels of hourglass. What are you on about? You died to an Ashen Wind Skull. You died to a Nash and 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 Wind Skull. Meow. You will. Meow. Yeah, coming from the stream snipers. Coming from the stream snipers. Stream snipers. I know you're a thing, my bro. You always talk to me. I sink people. I try to sink people like you. I'm going out. Hello, Toxie. Hi. I died. Killed one. They have left head right now. If you killed one, then they're done. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're the toxic ones for stream sniping. You know exactly what you did. Zero, make sure you. Oh, you sunk to the bot. If I'm a bot, what does that make you? Oh no. If I'm the bot, what does that make you? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. What happened? 
Oh, and you died before me. Oh, no. Oh, I, I just don't care. Well, I think it's safe to assume that their ego was pretty hurt right about now. Surely this would be the last we'd see of them, right? Surely. I mean, we had sunk them like five times now. How much more embarrassment could they possibly take? And just as I thought that, we were invaded with an hourglass battle. Oh, we're invaded. Oh, we're invaded. <laughs> well, let's go. All right, game time. Zero. Zero. Go back there. We had just been hourglass invaded, which meant it was time for another galleon to enter the stage. But little did they know, they'd also be taking on the fleet of the damned. And this crew started out with an interesting maneuver. Oh, I'm asleep. oh you're so good. I'm about to get black screen. Yeah, this was a TDM attempt. They wanted to pin our ship down as close to theirs as possible to attempt to win via spawn camp. And they were pretty damn good at that too. Wait, I can't ADS. Nice. I couldn't ADS, but they're struggling. However, through the commotion, we were actually able to get our ship moving a little and spiral around them. And considering the situation, we had to go all in and fire our cursors. But as we pushed for a sink here... The other sloop is here. It's okay. We'll just do what we okay, can. Okay, yeah, then I'll need I'm now. bucketing now. I'm bucketing. He's off. I'm ganging. Go away. When we need buckets. Buckets. All, ha all hands. I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah. Ice cream sniper. Oh. Ice cream sniper. Hi, guys. I love you, poor guy. I love you, poor guy. Hello. Hello. You sunk five times to us. You sunk five times to us. Yeah, well, that went exactly as I expected. And if you'd like to see more about the Davy Jones tool tail and using it in Hourglass, then have a look at this video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.